Alright, got the compass, and there we go. Our little um, diamond up there over the door tells us where it's going to be. And we can zoom out. We have RP mode over the shoulder. We have first person view. We scroll all the way in. I, a lot of people find that disorientating. I like over the shoulder for RP so you can really see people's faces and costumes. But for fighting, of course, you know. They are long distance. Alright. You have been targeted by a status effect the appearance of your health and stamina. Okay. okay. Something. The rights gallery is in here. Okay. Let's head inside. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, like I said, um, here in Tutorial Hall, we have a whole bunch of armor. I'll take a curse, I will take Greaves, I'll take Sabatons, I will take the Pauldrons, I'll take the Girdle, and I do believe there are heavy gloves somewhere. God, let's see, here we go. I have an entire set now. Let's equip it. Okay. Oh, I forgot the helmet somewhere. Show me helmet. There's a hat. I don't want a hat, I want a helmet. Oh, where, there we go, there's a helmet. There's a helmet. Oh no, it's raw high. Never mind. Destroy. Okay. I don't need it. I can't use it. Alright. What I'm looking for is a helmet. This. Sh tell me this. It's another raw high helmet. What I'm looking for is an iron helmet. It should have been right here. And I didn't find it. Or right here. Oh well. I want to learn medium gear anyway. There we go. I have wings. Oh, that's silly. Okay. I left her waiting, but she's very patient. Well, this is a... Jeffers Bones. The surge of magicka created by the portals you came through. Oh, it must have cracked this sky shard. Without a functioning sky shard, this gate remains locked, and there's no way for us to proceed. Is there any way for... any way to fix it? Unless you have a set of enchanting tools and a working knowledge of meteoric empowerment theory, no, there's nothing for it. We need to find okay. a replacement. Okay, where can we find a replacement, Skashel? I saw one in a vault just south of here a few days ago, but it oh. was flanked by one of the island's more powerful golems. Normally, oh. I'd say we should search for another option, but given the circumstances, I think we have to risk it. Alright, let's find that sky shard. Uh, can I ask you something before we set out? Of course. Let's not tarry too long, though. What are sky shards exactly? Giant clusters of meteoric glass. They fall oh. from Aetherius, charged with raw and very potent magicka. Mages use sky shards in all kinds of rituals and experiments. We Dureni use them as a power source. And we use them for one third of a skill point. Okay, what kind of golem did you see near the Skasha? It's a monstrous sentinel called a gargoyle. I've never oh. seen one fight, but by all accounts, they are far more powerful than the golems we face thus far. All right. Well, now we know. Let's go. All right. And something very important. 
the uh, helmet I'm wearing is uh, adorable, but um, I, I um, a lot of people do not wear helmets, so um, I'm going to go into my collections here, uh, Kiyu, and uh, go into my appearance, and under hats, it says hide your helm. I'm going to set as an active, and there I can see my face. <laughs> yes, I can. There we go. Let's go. All right. Do you see that vault to the south? The sky shot is there. All right. Now I was talking earlier about getting a bit a uh, gothic, but uh, we can do that. Just have to. Uh, we have to make a few adjustments. Okay. And you can get the map by hitting M. Looking at it. Okay. And you get to fight the same people all over again. Okay. I don't know why. I don't know why, but sky shards tend to fall in inconvenient places. Just one of Tamriel's cruel jokes. Let's snatch it up quick. Alright. Also... Well, if you don't loot bodies fast enough, sometimes they disappear. There probably wasn't anything great in it anyway. Oh, here we go. Septons. And we there have a is. variety the of sky weapons. Shot. So, um, if I want to pick up a new... There we go. A new skill line right now. I don't see a nice staff. But I can pick up the lightning staff. I can go to my inventory and I can switch out the lightning staff for the sword. It gets rid of the thing, but there we go. New skill line. No waiting. Hey, buddy. Move! No! And this <laughs> and our friend right here is gonna heal me, so I'm not actually in the Roll to the side. Oh. Double tap A, double tap T, and roll. All right, we're good. Anything for me? Okay. So, uh, under skills, I now have Destruction Staff, and I can, uh, I can't equip, uh, for Shock yet, because, um, I don't have the skill point for it, but, um, I'll level up soon enough, and I probably will. Or... What? Did you just absorb the energy of that shard? Incredible. We should hurry back to the gate. We don't have the Sky Shard, but we do have a spark of ethereal energy. That's the important bit. Alright, let's go. Oh, and uh, well, what I'm wearing is adorable. I can go to my costumes right now at level 2. And I can actually change it into, I don't know, anything I want. I could even put on airs if I like. See. Go for Imperial Centurion. <laughs> uh, Alright. I could finally be the Lion Guard Knight. Okay, um... Alright, these are all a little silly. And I feel like the Imperial Guard Centurion uniform is... so much. But uh, let, let's give it a go anyway. To switch over weapons, you have to reach level 15 
but if you want to do that you can put it to any key you want. I found the key that I was using to be um, a little too far from where I was reaching, so I put it on the um, accent or the ending button. There we go. Level up. And I get a crown fortified meal. Fantastic. Okay. I'm going to put a point in stamina. And then I'm going to put a point into force shock. So now I can actually use that. I will want to put some uh, into my armor. Um, do I need like another piece of armor? I might need another piece of medium armor to trigger that. Okay. Um, you can usually get yourself like some normal provisions, but uh, until then, there we go. You can use the uh, crown fortified meal, and that will uh, bring up your primary stats. All right. All right. Good deal. And the, uh, well, you just saw. The uh, skills you have, like Force Shock, they're down on the bar, and uh, you can trigger them by uh, pressing the number keys. Uh, one through, yeah, one through five. One through five here, and then R is your ultimate, your Big Bang. All right, moment of truth. Focus on. Ha! You did it! Let's be I'm for a natural. Moment. I'm afraid we've reached the really scary bit. The Daedric creature responsible for all these portals waits just beyond that gate. If you have any other preparations to make, make them now. Do you have any advice on how to slay this thing? Again, I'm just a scholar. But I'd encourage you to remember what we practiced before. Keep moving, strike true, and exploit any opening the creature gives you. Alright. It's also good to um, have your potions. We don't have any potions at the moment, but uh, have potions. If you can equip a poison onto your blade, if you have one, or your lightning staff if you want, then uh, poisons are good. You can put them right there, uh, wearing as much jewelry as you can get. Also good, getting your armor as high as level as you can. Also good, making sure it's in good repair. This is all new, and we're going to be turning through it, so that we don't have to worry about repair kits. But when we do, they're going to be in here, and um, they're going to be in here, and so um, we can just uh, right-click on this, click repair. We don't have it's, it's already full durability, so we don't need to do that. But if we did, we would uh, click the repair kit if we had one and then we would be able to fix it. Uh, if you learn recipes, then it helps you to be able to make stuff. So I'm going to learn that recipe right now. And I just gained the skill line, cooking or provisioning. Okay. I'm going to go pick up some medium armor down here. Uh, for every person, these, um, there we go. These respawn, so. Just, just, you can take take whatever you want, and it's not going to affect anybody else's playthrough. Oh, there you okay, There we go. Skill line gain, medium armor. Uh, sometimes you get um, good skill lines, um, good armor that's medium, and sometimes you get them as heavy. So it's nice to be able to wear whatever you want and still get the. There it is. Send it back to Oblivion. All right, let's do it. Only I will remain. Wither and die. Nope. Hey, there we go. All right. And yes, you can double roll. Uh, you want, might want to make sure that you have plenty of stamina 
But before you give it a go, what cannot die. But you can do it. Oh, and watch out for these little things because the little bubbles, because if they hit you, they're gonna hurt. And dead. And I have you a hair did it. Hopefully the gallery wasn't too badly damaged. Alright. Follow me. 